Welcome back. You know, the days may be numbered for these slithering snakes. Hundreds of people are hunting them down, competing for cold, hard cash, including our next guest, Alan Schneider. He's going to tell us about a day in the life of a python hunter scouring the Florida Everglades. But first, a look at the exploding problem. As many as 100,000 Burmese pythons are slithering through Florida's treasured Everglades and preying on anything they can find. If we remove one snake from the ecosystem, we've done a good thing. Researchers say 99% of the raccoon, possum, and bobcat populations have been wiped out. Inside this 16 foot python's belly, a 76 pound deer. Now, nearly 800 people are hunting down the pythons, competing for cash prizes. Look at all that land. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack, you know. The python problem goes back to 1979. They likely started as pets, but were abandoned after growing out of control. They are massive, aren't they? This month-long python challenge in the Everglades, it's just getting started. Want to bring in python hunter Alan Schneider. Alan, great to talk to you. Good to talk to you. How are so, you? I'm doing well. You got involved in this after Hurricane Andrew. Tell us about that. Um, well, after Hurricane Andrew, during, just right after Hurricane Andrew, I worked for a landscape nursery. Mm -hmm. And uh, a guy next door to us, I'm not sure if he had a pet store or if he was a breeder, but he uh, had pythons stored in a storage shed because the area where we, were, where we were at wasn't supposed to get hit by the storm and the shed got blown down and the snakes ended up in the nursery I worked at. So mm -hmm. we had to kind of clean up the mess for him and get his snakes back and get them out of our nursery because you you, we did a lot of shipping overseas and whatnot and it's something that you couldn't send in a shipment of plants. So. We spent quite a bit of time cleaning up his snakes and getting them back into his uh, control. Alan, this is dangerous, but pythons, they're not poisonous. It's deadly if it gets a hold of you, as we saw with the 76-pound deer that it swallowed. Are you worried about this when you head into the Everglades? Um, you always have to be worried about what you're going to run into in the Everglades because, A, a python has a very good biting and grip ability, what it does is it grabs onto you and it wraps you up. Mm -hmm. And the big concern is that it will actually get you into the water because if you get bitten and get wrapped up and you go in the water, there's nothing you can really do about it. Mm -hmm. um, the big thing is you have to know how to handle a big snake and keep control of the situation. Um, too many how do you people do that? How do well, you get a hold of it and, and make sure that you're not in danger? It's especially dangerous in water, is that right? Yes, you definitely don't want to try to capture one in the water um, because, like I said, if they get you in the water, you're going you're gonna to sink. It's, a, it's, it's not a safe thing to do. Um, what you want to do is you want to try to get them on land. You want to try to tire them out by working them a little bit, which basically entails grabbing a hold of their tail making them get tired, then you can get control of their head. And once you get control of their head, you try to get them in a bag or in, in, some, in, in the case of this contest, mm -hmm. you want to try to go ahead and um, terminate the snake as quickly as possible with as, as, hum, and who's, as humanely as possible. Alan, I know you said that you're doing this for your kids so they can go out in the Everglades and feel safe. Quickly here, what about PETA or people who say this is inhumane because the python stays alive, I think, up into an hour after it's killed? The, the, the python isn't really alive once you, once you terminate the brain. Mm -hmm. It's just there's, as with any animal or even humans, once you... You so kill it's an the animal. nervous system, you say. Yeah, they have a nervous system mm -hmm. reaction, um, and we are you. We the method we use, we actually you basically scramble the brain, mm -hmm. so there's.